And up for the second semi-final of the men's 400 metres, we know that Sibandra Botswana and the American Montgomery are through from the first. Well, they're the figure of Edwin Ngiti of Kenya. Only fourth in his heat in 47-11. He's a 46-7 performer at his best in Kenyan. He goes in uh, lane two. I can tell you that in this second semi-final, the world top two are up against each other. It's a strange draw, but of course, the result of the results of the heats. A Joachim Dobber of the Netherlands, only sixth in his heat, got through as the fastest loser in 47-67. I suspect this will be his individual uh, championship over and done with after this one. Louis Charles of Dominica goes in lane four, a 47-09. And relax 47.09 in his heat. Then Matsukio of Japan, who's a 46.74 performer, very close to that in his heat. He goes in five. Then the world number one, Martin's already mentioned, Babaloki Tebe, the world number one, number two all time at 19 years of age. He's run 44.22 this year, so close to being a world record. Abdullah Haroun is the world number two this year, the third fastest man in history for Qatar. He goes in seven. He's just 19 years old. Then uh, Musa Ali Issa goes in uh, lane eight for Bahrain. In fact, just looking, looks like the Bahraini is a no-show, as we see Ivan Nunez of Mexico on the outside there in lane nine. But how strange that the top two on the world rankings, Tebe of Botswana and the Qatari Haroun, are drawn beside each other in that order. Tebe in six, Haroun in lane seven. Only the top two go right. Can you imagine being one of the other six performers in this race and seeing that draw for this semi-final goodness me because Tebe and Harun are the only two athletes in the world this year under 45 seconds Tebe an extraordinary talent won his heat in 46 25 won the African Championships in Durban back on the 24th of June in 44 69 that 44 22 the world junior Fastest time this year, an African junior record came at uh, Gaboron on the 21st of May in the national championships. And this is his first season as a 400-meter runner. He's better known as a 200-meter man. Ran 20.56 at altitude last year, 20.21 this year. And for a man of just 19 years old, that's mighty fast. So the second semi-final of the men's 400 meters then. The world number one, the second fastest in history, Babaloki Tebe of Botswana there, goes in lane six. Haroun, outside him of Qatar, is the third fastest in history at under 2,400 metres. Well away without any trouble at all. Haroun, third from left. Haroun actually second to left, excuse me. It's Tebe in the black, who's uh, third from left there in lane six. Moving very smoothly indeed. Harun has gone out pretty aggressively. The others struggling to go with this. Masukio of Japan is a long way down in lane five. Louis Charles of Dominica in four is also struggling. But look at these two. A class apart, quite frankly. And Tebe turned it on around that bend and he's past Harun as if to say, get back and stay in your place. I am number one. Head nodding style of his. It's not a smooth run, is it? But 44 66. Oh, my word. I can tell you, there's only five other juniors in the history of uh, one lap running who run as quickly as that. That was extravagant. I wonder whether it, we might pay for it come the final. Probably not. 44-67, in fact. Only athletes like LaShawn Merritt and Laguelin Santos and Karani James have gone quicker. Steve Lewis as well. But that was a very, very special run indeed. And Haroon, I suppose, Martin, and Fakata in the lane outside him, almost gave him some to shoot at over the first 300. Yes, it's quite a stunning performance. Consider these gentlemen are both teenagers, and he is cruising to sub 45 seconds. Absolutely cruising. He's making very good athletes look rather ordinary. Well, that winning time, very impressive indeed, 44-67 in a semi-final.